Hey, <clears throat> Steve Zook here. Good morning. Welcome back to Pokes Who Channel and the Guitar Leader System. Boy, this is a hard one to let go of, and that's not bullshit. Um, this reminds me a lot of a really, really good made in Korea Washburn J6S, <clears throat> which I've sold quite a few of. This one is an Oscar Schmidt. I think it's called a O40 or Q40. But this one's rare. It's got the solid, uh, excuse me, it's got the one piece back. Uh, which is made from an old tree to get a piece of wood 17 inches wide like that. And it reminds me a lot of a really, really good Washburn J6S. And it actually reminds me a lot of one of my early 70s Gibson's L5s worth about seven, eight grand. Uh, I don't think I see a, a seam on the top as well. I'd have to get my reading glasses on. But there's no center seam on the back. And it's got some flame on the back of the neck. This is an incredible guitar. Uh, to me, this guitar is worth easily seven, eight hundred dollars. I'll do this for five seventy-five. It's got some flame on the back. You don't see that very often. There's no case, so I'll probably have to double box it. Um, but it just sounds unbelievable. It's even got some nice ring unplugged. This is a lot of guitar. I've said a million times, folks. You know, you got to judge every guitar is a little bit different. The great guitars are few and far between. Uh, I specialize in, in a lot of arch tops a lot of work finding them. I, I turn down more stuff than I buy. But most I've even had dealers call me up looking for a guitar for one of their customers because they just know I know what I'm doing with arch tops. But this guitar sounds incredible. This guitar and the guitar letter system would really be good to do. Uh, love when I play this I can look down and, and see that flame that's really rare like I said I'll go 575 on this I don't want to argue about price I drove three hours to get this can you see that flame on the side of the neck it's just absolutely beautiful and the setup is beautiful on this guitar this is a lot of guitar it's the hardest I should be selling tires the hardest thing for me is letting the good stuff go because it's really really hard it is very difficult to find great guitars and what I bring to the table is great guitars at a really good value and it's really hard to do it's more labor of love. I really don't make. I don't really don't make money at this. I know people think I'm lying. I'm not. I spent money last year on this, uh, and I'm just uh, see the great uh, the great acoustic quality comes through. I barely have my amp up, and it's an old solid state amp. I paid a buck and a half for. It's an old PV, but yeah, this is a lot of guitar. I'll go 575 and some shipping. This and the guitar ladder system would be really a good uh, situation for somebody. But see, it's it's just got even even unplugged. I don't know if you can hear this. Even unplugged, it's it, it's got a beautiful tone, but you. A great tone. The problem with most arch tops is they're very weak. Most arch tops are very weak in the mid bass. You know who would love this guitar would be Kenny Burrell or Joe Pass, who I studied with. Anyway, um, I'm really going to miss this. Let's do cycle one in the guitar ladder system. I'll include a couple guitar ladder studies with this guitar at 575 too. And by the way, I'm just using a hundred dollar Zoom Q3, so it's nothing, you know, not a real good recorder. It's got super, super small mics. I should probably turn this up a little bit. But yeah, this guitar sounds amazing. It's very musical. It's really hard to find a great sounding arch top. But I've had arch tops, you know, like 62 Gibson 175s and all kinds of stuff. But this particular one, I think they used thicker layers of real wood on it. Like I said, when you play it, you look down, you see the flame on the back of the head, back of the neck, and it just looks gorgeous. This is this is a lot of guitar. I would put this against guitars going for a ton more money. And like I said, I'm really going to miss this guitar, and that's not sales bullshit or hype. It just is a fantastic instrument with real soul. I've sold, you know, quite a few, you know, Oscar Schmitz, and most of them are kind of cool, but it's just, like I've said a million times, the great guitars are few and far between. It's 
that beautiful mid range. So you can hear that acoustic quality. Again, I, I know I keep going back to turn my amp up. I'm really gonna miss this guitar. It just sounds so musical. That's the weak area of most arch tops. They're, they're very weak in the mids and the mid bass, and, and the bass often is kind of muddy. Listen to that, it's just, that's just a beautiful tone. This would be a super guitar for the guitar leather system. Anyway, people always call me years after I list a guitar and sell it, and they're always bummed I don't still have it. That's why I always tell people, if you see, if you see something I have for sale, jump on it, because it's a lot of work and you know I, I, I get tired of chasing stuff but it's just it's an addiction to be honest with you but it's an addiction that costs me money I spend more money chasing and buying than I do making so that's I just love it I just you know when I sell somebody an arch top guitar and they love it it makes you feel good setup is beautiful on this guitar little contrary motion I chord, major 13, flat 5, major 13, 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9 to diminish. Dominant 9, flat to 9, add the 13. I just love that flame coming through. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the flame neck is absolutely just gorgeous. And when you play, you kind of look down and see all that flame. Oh, this is a lot of guitar for 575. It sounds as good as the guitars I have worth thousands. And again, I'm not a real I'm not a real big fan of flat wounds, but on this guitar it really works and the setup is really nice on this guitar. Yeah, you can't just go out and buy any Washburn, by the way, or any Oscar Schmidt and expect it to sound great. It's not bullshit. Guitars vary greatly from guitar to guitar, guitar to guitar, and the great ones are few and far between. But this, this is easily as good as some of the killer Washburn J6s and J6s I've had. And this particular one is an older one made in Korea, so it's got older wood. It's got some flame, some flame wood on the back of the neck, which is just so beautiful. That's really rare. I probably could get more for this guitar, but I'll do 575 plus shipping. Um, I could probably, like I said, get more just because it's a fantastic sounding instrument and I'm in no rush to sell it. But it's got some weight to it, which is good. It's got thicker layers of laminate. It just sounds tremendous. This with the guitar ladder system would be a great tool if you really want to grow. Again, I'm just using a cheap solid-state amp. So, but, but yeah, this guitar's got real music, musical qualities. It's all in the magic mids and the mid bass band, guys. It just sounds. guitar. Joe Pass would love this guitar. I studied with him for a Anyway, if anybody wants this guitar, don't don't drag your feet and now's a great time to woodshed. It just sounds tremendous. See a really great arch top, some of the acoustic quality does come through even plug. I can hear it with my ear here probably more than you can. I'm not real warmed up. 
I'll try it again. There we go. But yeah, if you could use a great arch top, you don't need to go out there and spend seven grand, you know. Uh, you just got to find one that has the mojo, that has the magic, and that's what I bring to the table. I, I really know arch tops, folks. I've been doing this a long, long time. Great setup in this guitar. It was done by a pro. I can just tell by how nice it plays. Again, that flame on the back of the neck is just absolutely gorgeous. When you play it, you, you feel like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It just looks classy, you know. <clears throat> Some people would argue with me and say, oh, it has nothing to do with the tone. I don't know. I think everything about a guitar has to do with the tone. That's why people that make acoustic guitars sometimes will just use wood for the binding, you know. But like I said, there's no center seam on the back of this guitar. So this, to get a 17-inch wide piece of wood is rare. It needs to be a pretty old tree that to do that. And uh, I don't have my reading glasses on. I don't think there's a, a top seam. I haven't seen one. It could be, but uh, but the back definitely does not have a center theme, center center seam. See that quick, right? Because as you can hear, I should probably move out of the way so you can hear it a little bit better without me being in the way of the tone. So if you're interested, hit me up, stevezook7 at yahoo.com, S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K, the number seven, not spelled out at yahoo.com, or text me or call me, 714-548-0385. If you get a message saying, you know, we help with student loan debt, we do, but you still got the right number. If you have student loan debt, I can save you some money. Um, I don't know what else to say, but anyway, this is the guitar. Sounds unbelievable. I'm really going to miss it. I'm going to have to buy another arch top if I sell this. Very musical. But yeah, the great guitars are few and far between. It's really hard to find. And it can, a great guitar can pop out of any brand, any model. But you just can't duplicate the make and the model and expect to get the same mojo. It just doesn't, it's not that simple. You know, wood is different. I think they used old wood on this. This is an older one made in Korea. And if, if somebody brought this to me to appraise, I would appraise it more for like around seven fifty eight, dollars because it's that good of a guitar, easily. Probably that's even a little low. But yeah, I'll go, I'll go five seventy five dollars in shipping on this. Really a lot of guitar for the money. It's got that beautiful acoustic quality. Anyway, I'll really miss this guitar. And again, the flame on the back of the neck is so cool looking. It reminds me of like an old Gibson or something. Somebody really hit a home run on this one. They, I don't know if it was used for a trade show or something, or maybe for an artist endorsement or something. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful guitar. Sounds amazing. Um, like I said, it's got the one piece back. That's an old piece of wood. Tons of fret left, you know. It's a really nice guitar. All right, folks, take care. Again, 714-548-0385 or email me either pokesu at gmail.com. I, I tend to look at the Steve Zook one more, stevezook7 at yahoo.com, S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K, the number seven, not spell out yahoo.com. I'll include a couple guitar ladder system cycles with this, but if you really want to make a quantum leap on guitar and learn to improvise and compose, and discover hidden talent and discover your unique musical point of view. Buy this in the guitar ladder system for $199. You'll be really set. All right, folks, let's all stay positive. Ciao.